Hi everyone, my name is Daria. I'm a student nurse and welcome to my channel. Okay, get in here, get in here, y'all, because I want this YouTube video to feel like a FaceTime. If you are on Nurse Talk, um, you may have heard about the Florida scandal, or maybe you're not on Nurse Talk. Uh, I shouldn't be on Nurse Talk. I need to be studying, but I'm not. Anyway, um, if you don't know what's going on or anything like that, I'm going to tell you. I'm going to spill the tea because it's piping hot, and let me get my glasses on because I'm going to do the reading so you don't have to. Oh, those, uh, those are dirty. Hold on. All right, let's get into it. All right, I have my laptop here, so that's what I'm looking at. All right, so this article is from New York Times, and it's by Michael Levinson. I'm not going to read the whole article, but I want you guys to get the gist of it because this is so, like, what the heck is going on? And, like, a lot of influencers are saying that it, this has been going on for years, um, but now somebody must have been pissed. Maybe somebody didn't let them buy their license or whatever, and now it's coming out. All dirty deeds come to light, y'all. All dirty deeds. So let's jump right into the article. So it says, more than two dozen people have been charged in connection with a scheme in which fake nursing diplomas were sold to buyers who then used the credentials to obtain nursing, to obtain nursing licenses and jobs in healthcare settings across the country. The scheme involved the sale of more than six Whoa, more than 7,600 fake diplomas issued by three South Florida nursing schools. All right, so let's take a pause. These are not back alley places offering diplomas, right? These are three colleges um, offering fake diplomas. All right, let's get back into it. So the colleges were Siena College, Sacred Heart International Institute, and Palm Beach School of Nursing. So 25 people charged this week include administrators of the, I can't, I can't talk y'all. I can read, but I can't talk. Um, let me restart. 25 people charged this week include administrators of the Florida schools and administrators and affiliates of a series of nursing test prep academies in other states that recruited candidates to buy the fake diplomas. Wow. Um, many of the people who paid for the fraudulent credentials already had experience working in healthcare. Okay. Goes on to say buyers paid between ten thousand and fifteen thousand to obtain bogus uh, diplomas and transcripts indicating that they had earned legitimate degrees, like the um, RN. Wow. So you know what's so interesting to me is that I know that there are private nursing programs that charge that much, but y'all, my education has been less than three thousand a semester. So the thought that someone is paying ten thousand, fifteen thousand to obtain a diploma is crazy to me. Um, even though I know there are legit programs that are charging that much, but baby, no, I couldn't pay that. I could not pay that. Um, okay, let's keep going. The diplomas and transcripts then allowed the buyers to qualify for the National Nursing Board exam. About 37% of those who brought the fake diplomas, um, so that's about 2,800 people passed the exam. So we got 2,800 fake nurses that um, didn't go through RN program like we did. They brought their diploma. All right, let's keep going. Um, t -t -t among that group, a significant number of them received nursing licenses and secured jobs in hospitals and other healthcare settings. Court documents did not name those institutions. Okay, trying to keep the hospitals safe. Hmm. The U.S. Attorney's Office for the Southern District of Florida said the fraud scheme had created an illegal licensing and employment shortcut for aspiring nurses. Not only is this a public safety concern, it also tarnishes the reputation of nurses who actually complete the demanding clinical and coursework. Okay. Uh, yada, yada, yada. Yada, yada, yada. Let me get to the good stuff. Um, so the the investigation itself was called for, um, Operation Nightingale. I bet they were thought they was real clever in the office naming it that. Anyway. Um, so none of the buyers were charged, and I don't think they're going to be charged. So, so far, only the administrators and, you know, the people that actually put together the scheme have been charged. Um, but those nurses will get their license taken, okay? 
Um, yada, yada, yada. Let me see if there's anything else good. Mm. Okay, yeah, that's basically all the article. Um, wow. So let's, let's, let's talk about this. Let's unpack this. First of all, first of all, I don't know if all of these people knew that they were getting flake diplomas. That's just me. I've seen a lot of controversy of people going back and forth that, oh no, these people knew and somebody, some people saying, no, they didn't know. Um, we have to remember these are real, these were real um, programs, right? If you're watching this, I need you to comment below what you think, because I think not everybody knew, but some people are saying, oh, please, these people knew. So I need, I need to know what do you guys think. Um, secondly, how do you feel, right? So obviously I'm a nursing student, so this is coming from a nursing student point of view. I'm not angry or anything. I'm more in shock. Um, if given the opportunity to buy a license, would I do that? No, like I said, I don't have $50,000 lying around. Also, I wouldn't do that because I'm too much of a worrier. I need to know what I'm doing. I need to know that I've been trained. I need to know that I'm legit. So the fact that somebody felt okay doing that is crazy to me. Whether or not you were an LPN beforehand, there's a major shift in scope of practice when you go from LPN to RN. So that in itself is just like, how do you, like, I can't fathom it. On the other, and I'm I'm not angry, like I said, but I do think, wow, there are people out here skating by. And I'm struggling every day, fighting every day. And there are people skating by. Um, so interesting. Uh, if you have feelings on that, let me know also. Now let's get into obviously the main reason this is scary, right? This is scary because you're taking care of somebody um now yeah i understand that training is on the job whatever whatever but to be able to critically think um i don't you can't be trained for that you need that knowledge base i'm sorry to be able to critically think part training but part knowledge right we all know that for most of our programs, we're trying to get that knowledge to pass the NCLEX, not necessarily be successful in the job because our job is going to teach us those skills that we need, right? But at the end of the day, I am totally for my education. I need that base. I need that foundation. And I realize not everybody thinks that, that as I do, but that is so unsafe. That is so unsafe. Um, I be telling people, it's a scary time between protesting, um, not protesting, what the heck do they call it? Oh, strikes, between strikes, now this, and let's, let, let me get this straight also. It's not just Florida nurses. 26 in Delaware have already had their uh, license pulled. This is a nationwide scam, right? Um, and remember, a lot of, uh, of well, the three schools were telling people to take their NCLEX in this state or in that state, where states where they don't have any limits. Mind you, New York doesn't have limits. So who's to say how many New York nurses brought these fake diplomas, right? Um, it really is nationwide. So... Even though the TikToks are hilarious about the Florida nurses, I feel for them. Because if I lived in Florida and I was a patient, I'd be like, what school did you go to? And who are you accredited by? Because if anybody says one of these three schools, I got to walk out that hospital, baby. I got to get out of there. Um, so interesting. Now, how do y'all feel about the nurses not being charged? Do you think they should be charged? I am like 50-50 on this. Oh my gosh. It's it's crazy because I think I just, the situation is shocking to me, but is it, do I care about it as much as a lot of other people do? No, I don't think so. I think that I'm so caught up in trying to just get my own license. I have no strong feelings about this situation. Now the OGs that have their license, they got a lot to say and I respect that, but I'm not there in that stage, right? I'm just trying to fend for myself and survive um, my program, <laughs> as dramatic as that sounds. But do, do any of you have an opinion on if they should be charged or not? 
Um, I do not believe there's going to be a huge investigation only because I could see so many lawsuits coming out if there were medication errors and God forbid somebody lost their life or, you know, was paralyzed. So many things can happen. Um, I do not think they're going to open that can of worms. We know that hospitals have a lot of power. Um, and I just don't think they're going to open that can of worms. I really don't. Um, but I'm a pessimist. I'm optimistic, but I'm pessimistic at the same time if that makes sense like I know what I want to happen but deep down in my heart I kind of know what will happen um I don't know you guys I really don't know I'm gonna be following this really closely and if you are into nursing news the way I am please comment down below because I want to talk to somebody about this like I want to have discussion about this I want to know what you guys are thinking I hope that now if you didn't have the time to look up the facts that this article helped like I said I got it right off New York Times let me look at the author one more time I need to give credit where credit is due I don't want my page getting uh cited or whatever the heck um, so the author, Michael Levinson, Michael Levinson, New York Times, the article is titled 7,600 fake nursing diplomas were sold in scheme, U.S. says. And remember, Operation Nightingale. Okay, Florence, that's cute. That's cute. That's cute. Um, but yeah, so I need to know, guys, give me your feedback on this topic. I just find it so interesting, so crazy. This world is so crazy right now. And like I said, I'm just trying to get my degree. I am graduating in June. I'm just trying to finish out strong and be done, y'all. So maybe once I get my degree, maybe I have more of a stronger opinion. But right now, I'm just more shocked than angry. Um, and a little bit frightened for people out there who are being taken care of by um, nurses that were not fully equipped with the correct foundation. So it's a little bit scary. Um, but yeah, super quick video today. I know it's been a while, um, but I just had to jump on this. I find it so interesting. I find nursing news so interesting. I found I found Redonda Va interesting. I find the strikes interesting. Um, I really find all of it interesting. The tea is hot in this community. Why? It be hot for no reason. Um, but we'll see. I'm hoping uh, the hospitals have are starting to get a plan in action. And I hope everybody's families and... Um, patients families have not been too affected by this uh, scheme but I guess more details will come out in the long run um oh yeah this has been my first video in like weeks happy new years my lovely people um please feel free to subscribe comment um I have other videos feel free to watch those I'm gonna be trying to post more often I say that every video don't I no promises I'm gonna try more try to post at least once every other week we'll see I feel like it's my last semester but they're really piling it on heavy I'm gonna try my best y'all because I really appreciate every single one of you as always feel free to reach out um don't go through this alone um if you need anything you can comment I'm pretty sure my email is on one of my videos you always email me and I'm pretty quick at responding um, but yeah, guys, at the end of the video, I'll probably have a vlog if you want to watch that. Um, but thanks for tuning in and let me know your thoughts. I really, really want to know them. I'm so curious on how everybody else is feeling about this, especially my fellow nursing students. So let me know. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day and a great semester. Bye. Hi, guys. So I haven't really been blogging, um, blogging vlogging but i'm feeling like myself again and so let's vlog i'm so excited to be going to my first holiday party with my tutoring center so i'm excited for that um i did pass my semester amen otherwise i wouldn't be going to no parties and next semester will be my last semester so i definitely will be um vlogging that because it's so important right and yeah this is my little headband isn't it so cute i'm ready to grub and enjoy my time and just relax